So this is um what did I name him again? Mr. Pink Cuddlesworth. Yeah, I bought it like a one little while before I moved here. So like that was like last year. This is big because uh, I bought him for myself, so how you doing? But like, okay. So this is gonna be about, um, okay, basically 2017 Pride. So like, all that messy shit happened. Like, okay, I was on like apps and whatever, and um, definitely on like the app her trying to meet people, whatever, and you know. I don't know. Basically, there was this girl. My arm's gonna hurt. Maybe I should set this somewhere. Whatever. I'm tired. So, basically, I uh, met this girl from the app her, and um, she seemed pretty cool. We would like write a little bit, and then we were t texting a little bit, but like whatever. So. When it came down to meeting, we were like, I right, we're going to meet at Pride, whatever, blah, 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 2017 Pride. So, and mind you, like, I was, on, well, I was, like, chatting to her friend vibes, like, you know, friendly, but I was out of my relationship with this girl who I really loved, but, like, it went so sour and it got really nasty and, like, whatever, so... I just didn't want to see her but I didn't like I was like okay no yeah I didn't want to see the person now I just wanted to enjoy myself so hold on pause the story there though um so the day before Blocko I'm sure many of you know what Blocko is whatever oh my god I don't want to stare into like the camera hole but like when I look at the screen it looks like I'm looking over there y'all get it so why does my tummy feel that way? I've been drinking water all day, like, maybe I need some more. So, basically, um, me and the girl um, met the day before Blanco, and I met her at that Pizza Pizza on Church Street. And then it was so weird though, because, like, when we met up, she was just like, you know, at first it was alright, a little chat chat, and then uh, I went with my friend. And she was my friend just got mixed up some somebody and disappeared a little bit so then the girl was like can me and you go talk up the street whatever blah 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 and I was like I don't understand why you want to go talk up the street like I'm here on friend vibes you know like I'm here to chill and drink and turn up and have fun like I don't know what whatever so um I should have turned my I should have turned my fan to me so since my mom and her boyfriend didn't bring the air conditioner so like basically um she was like yeah let me talk to you up the street whatever blah 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 and then i was like i right, not a problem no biggie so then that's when she was like you know um uh, i think you're really she had this cute accent too i was just like where the fuck is this girl from she was she was black um, she was like, uh, I don't even know how to do her accent, but she was like, um, I think you're really, I think you're really pretty and, um, I really like you and, um, you know, I wouldn't mind leaving with you, like, whose house are we going to, yours or mine, blah, 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 and I was just like, who is this, who is this girl, like, what, we all know each other, like, what you mean you want to come to my house and blah, 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 whatever. So I'm like, yeah, no, that's not really gonna happen, whatever. And so as we're talking up the street and stuff, she's like, oh, um, like, this is me. I'm wearing a wig. Um, I have a lot of acne, um, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, why is this girl telling me all of this? Like, I don't give a fuck if you have acne. Like, I'm here to chill and, like, turn up with you. Like, you're not cool. Like, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't know. I didn't know she thought. I don't know what she thought. I wasn't. I never. I, you know what? To be honest, I didn't. I thought people could make friends on her too. I, I didn't think that her is an app that people just need. Fuck, like you know. 
so um yeah i was just like and i i i'm not against dating femmes like you know if you're pretty femme and we click it can happen you know what i mean it can happen but i usually date studs that's just what that's just what it turns to be but like i'm not against it but I, I didn't go there with the intention of like hooking up with her or anything so it was like really random and stuff and whatnot so um that's that and she was like holding holding on to me and shit and i mean she was cute and shit like she was really cute and i was like damn like this is so random like i don't know what to do in this position like so um and then like these people kept walking by and like trying to like um trying to like what's it called trying to like uh be nosy pretty much and i don't know if it was her friends or like some people who were just like oh what's going on with them like i don't even know it's pride who knows what the fuck's going on um so yeah that's that and whatever we went home i didn't whatever so like i didn't go home with her we both went separate ways whatever the case so um speed it like whatever next day is blocko right so i had the mindset of just like having fun you know at 2017 pride because like whatever i went and bought myself a little bottle from the lcbo i got smashed in the line i got smashed in the line like oh my god and then it's awkward you know like it was so awkward to start seeing like just just folks and you got loud people behind you and like whatever the case and it's just like ah oh, man but like whatever so there was another girl from twin from the app her who i was meeting so basically uh, first of all no 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 when i get into the line when I, while i'm in the line drinking there's this white man that starts talking to me and i'm not sure i thought he was a policeman because he was just like he was like oh uh are you gonna finish that out here are you gonna go in with that like you're trying to sneak in with it like hey what are you doing like um being trying to be friendly but like it was weird like people don't just walk up to you and do that and talk like how he was talking so it was kind of like hey okay, you're fucking sketch so like when i was like more a little more than halfway done i put it down because i was getting closer to like the line entrance whatever got rid of him i was just like don't talk to me like i don't know you so so um yeah i get into the pride in the blocko and um I meet the girl some other girl from her who I was meeting and then I'm standing I'm chilling with her a little bit she introduced me to these two studs she was with whatever um, now I was like I didn't want to see my ex cuz you know how that goes or you feel I don't know so I just started turning up from from me pre listen I was pre drinking in line a lot to myself and then I had blunts in my little thing, my little bag. I had blunts. I had a, uh, what's it called? I had um, edibles. I bought drinks in the thing. So your girl was getting fucked up. Like your girl was, your girl was feeling ways. So I don't know what happened. I don't know how I ran. Like the day was getting darker. Um, I never saw my friend Freaky. I don't know where she was. Like so as it's getting darker, and I'm getting so fucked. Like I'm getting so fucked. I don't know how I I don't know how I got away from those people that I was the girl I met with and stuff but out of nowhere out of nowhere the girl that I had seen the day previously um, before with the the one that was like oh um, I like you and um, this is me this is my face I have a lot of acne blah 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 with her little accent like um she just can't popped up in front of me and pulled me and I went with them I went with her like I just I went with her like I was I was on a, like levels okay I was gone so that was that whatever and um, so we go she brings me back down into the crowd with her and her little friends whatever so like we're chilling we're dancing and I'm I'm gone and then I see a few people from where the LGBT place where I lived at I've seen a few people whatever saying hi I'm like yo y'all want some so want to smile whatever blah blah I'm like yeah sure whatever so that's that and I'm gone like I'm gone I enjoyed myself with her she was cool whatever and then she has a friend standing there this person and they kept staring they were just staring they were a little cute though I'm not gonna lie but they were like staring so hard I'm just like the fuck but I was at the same time I was fucking gone and out of it yo I don't even know who the fuck saw me I don't know if I was dancing looking crazy like 
but all I know is I enjoyed myself heavily so that's all that matters at the end of the day whatever so I mean it was pride what the fuck like and I told myself I'm like yo I feel so at, at times I felt so awkward and whatever but like I told myself bitch you're staying here regardless you're not going motherfucking home because your ass already came here like I was about to have fun regardless of anything so and I did exactly that so then <clears throat> Blocko starts coming to an end and this girl is still around me this girl is still like we're chilling like she's walking with me and then i'm like yo how like how's fox bro i'm like this girl is still around me like how like who are you i'm really trying to figure out who is this girl and why is she so like you know but hey she says she liked me so so then i go i i just remember being walking to the corner of um where the bank is near wellesley station and uh not the td bank the other bank where the mcdonald's is near yeah so i remember being at that bank and all of a sudden throwing up my guts like and I didn't feel it though I was so gone that I didn't feel anything just throwing up my guts throwing up my guts and then I blacked out I blacked out all I remember is her and her little self trying to like get a cab or like asking people for asking someone for help or I don't even know I blacked the fuck out <laughs> and then so I as I when I wake up from the blackout I'm get I'm, I see her and my mom her and my mom helping me out of a cab and like <laughs> my mom thought it was funny though she's like oh my god like i've never seen her like this like what the fuck because i was like trying to enjoy myself heavily like i gotta listen i've been through a lot especially with that last girl like god damn like i loved her and it went so ugly and it just got it was so bad like i was gonna enjoy myself honey so um yeah she got me to my mom's i slept at my mom's i was very thankful and very grateful but i woke up and i was just like what the fuck and then I hate, here's the thing though here's the thing so I didn't take her seriously and she said she liked me and I should have like really like you know paid a little more attention to that but I didn't and so she had the friend that was like staring so hard they were like kind of cute and so I said to her like hey like what's their number and I think that kind of like threw her off a bit and stuff whatever the case and I felt a little bad about it but um yeah and that went nowhere I didn't really pay my pay mind to it and then um yeah we me and the girl that like stuck by my side all that night and like wanted to dance and stuff like our communication eventually died down and whatever but now that I think honestly now that I think about it I feel kind of stupid because like she was really cute and like she's genuine I feel like I feel like out of a bunch of people not a bunch but like out of people that have been in my life I feel like she genuinely genuinely was fucking with the kid like I feel like she liked me legit and it was a femme and I've never really dated a femme before so I thought oh shit like I kind of missed out on that and it would have probably been interesting so like shout out to her shout out to her because like she really fucking had my back like she looked the fuck out for me and got me to my mom's somehow I don't know how like she that's my wonder woman like that's my superwoman because yo so if you ever see this i'm sorry for being kind of a douchebag and i hope you're okay and thank you for having my back because i was i was gone i was smashed but like she was right there completely right there so yeah if you see this like get at me and let me know you're good <laughs> like she was so sweet and so cute i don't know why i look past her but yeah um, that was my 2017 pride. I got fucked up. And yeah. So. To many more good nights though. Peace. Your shit's so plastic, you don't need no features. Baby, come give me something.